Hi everyone, Amanda Saladin here from Love Life Yarn. Today we're going to be crocheting the Olivia Cable. See, I've worked one up here and I've also used it for this pocket design for one of my upcoming designs. You can find more than 100 free patterns on lovelifeyarn.com. So today we're gonna walk through this stitch pattern. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna use a size K hook and a worsted weight yarn. In this case, Starlet from Mary Maxim. So we'll start with our slip knot. And we're going to chain 17. Okay, we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And in each chain across. So we're going to end up working all of our wrong side rows in just plain single crochet. Something I really like about this cable is that it's not, you know, repeating rows of like double or treble crochet. It's just a single in between each one. So it opens up more possibilities because I wanted to design a cardigan in single crochet but have a cable design and I was able to use this. So just keep working across in single crochet. Okay, for row two we're gonna set up our cable. So we're going to just chain one and single crochet in our first two stitches. And now we're going to do a front post double crochet right around this post. So reach behind this post and pull up a loop and complete a normal double crochet. Okay, it just gives it texture and stands out. So we're gonna do that again around the post, making sure the post is in front of the hook. Single crochet two. Front post double crochet in the next four. This will give us that center area that we're going to cross the cable for the first few rows. Okay, now single crochet in the next two. Front post double crochet in the next two. Let's try that one again. If you ever get a little strange loop on there, you can always take it out and start over. There we go. And now we'll see on crochet in the last two. Okay, for row three, I'm just gonna chain one and single crochet evenly across. You'll see this for every odd numbered row, all the way across. Okay, row four, we're going to do our center twist, so chain one, single crochet in the first two. And now we're going to work front and post double crochet 
in the ones that we did earlier. So you can see these two stitches kind of standing out. You're going to work behind this double crochet post. Okay, and again, remember we worked a single crochet across the top of it. Don't work around the single crochet. Make sure you're catching that double crochet behind there. And then you're going to single crochet in the next two. Okay. So sometimes it helps me to look back here and see, okay, I skipped these two. One, two. So that helps me know the next stitch that I work in is right here. So I'm going to single crochet two. Now we're going to do a cable. So we're going to skip the first two. You can see these four double crochet right here. And we're going to work in the front post again. But we're going to work in the third one. And then the fourth one. Okay, now we skipped these two, so let's go back and get them. Come back to the first one and work a front post double crochet right here. And again in the second one that we skipped. Now again, sometimes I would look back here and count one, two, three, four that I skipped, and I would know that I work in the next stitch for our two single crochet. And then find your front post double crochets and do two front post double crochet around them. and single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, and you can see our center cable taking shape right here with this twisted loop. So turn, chain one, and again single crochet evenly across. Just work single crochet all the way down like we did before. Okay, ready for row six. You're going to chain one, single crochet in the first two, front post in the front post two rows below. So I said, don't worry, don't work into that single crochet. Make sure you're down here into the double crochet that we used two rows below. Skip these two right there. Single crochet in the next two. We're going to front post double crochet in the next four. Okay, so you're going to have to kind of work behind these, so sometimes it helps me to kind of separate it a little bit so that I can get down in here and work in the front double crochet. So just kind of move your stitches around and reach your hook in there behind the post. Don't be afraid that you're going to mess up the cable by moving the stitches around because it will fall right back in place. And then we're going to get these two that are on top.
Okay, so skip four. Because we already worked those in the posts. And now single crochet two. Front post double crochet two. And then single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, you can see our nice cable pattern. Turn, chain one, and again work your single crochet evenly across for row seven. Now row eight is just a repeat of row four, so chain one, Single crochet in the first two. Front post double crochet in the next two. Reach down and grab the front post two rows below, just like we've been doing. I said I always like to make sure I'm on the right one, and then work two more single crochet, and now we're gonna do the cable. So skip the first two and work in the next front post double crochet and the last one. Okay, now we're going to come back and get those first two. Now single crochet two. Front post double crochet two. And single crochet in the last two stitches. Okay, now you have two little crosses there. Turn, chain one, and single crochet you think cross. Okay, row 10 is where we're gonna start changing things up. So chain one, single crochet in the first three. And then we're going to do front post cro double crochet in the next four, we're going to pull these together, so find these first two. And then skip the two double crochet, the two single crochet that were here in the middle. Reach all the way over and find the two from your cable. It feels really weird, like it kind of felt wrong to me at first because it kind of stretches it so far, but once you keep working the rows, it works out really well. So find this other one down in here. It's kind of hiding, so just work your hook around it. There we go. Okay, we're going to skip four stitches, single crochet in the next two, and we're going to double crochet, front post double crochet in the four front post double crochet from the two rows below.
and single crochet in the last three. Okay, and that's bringing the middle and the outer edges closer together. So turn, chain one, and single crochet evenly across again. Okay, row 12. Chain one, single crochet in the first three. Okay, and we're gonna cross the outer bands we've been working in that center. So skip these first two. We're going to front post, double crochet in the next two. Okay, keep that from curling there. Okay, this is probably what I find to be the hardest part of working cables, is working behind these already established stitches. Now, up till now we've been working in front of the stitches. Now we're going to have to move those down and find the skipped front post double crochet. So, for me to get this on camera well, I'll show you these two right here. But you kind of move these stitches down. It's actually easier when you're not trying to make sure they're clearly seen. You just feel with your hook a lot of times. And go ahead and work a front post in the two skipped ones. So make sure you're working behind these first two. Okay, there's my next one. And row 12 is the only row you're going to see where we have to work behind anything. Sorry, it's kind of curling up there in the way. All right, and then now we are going to skip four single crochet and single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, two, three, four, and single crochet, two. And now for this side, skip the first two, front post double crochet, two, And then we're going to come over here. We can work in front of these stitches. So come over and grab the two that we skipped. And then single crochet in the last three. Okay, so you can see it is bringing the center part out to the sides and bringing the outer part in. So turn, chain one, and single crochet evenly across for our odd row. Okay, so for row 14, we're going to repeat row six, which is to single crochet two. Work a front double crochet in the next two front post double crochet. Oh, get that down. So these two right here on top. So we just worked those two. Single crochet two. Okay, we're going to front post double crochet four. So find the two that are underneath and fold that back there. Okay, find these two underneath and work front post double crochet.
and go over and find these other two. Ones that are underneath. Front post double crochet two. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, worked four stitches. So make sure you're skipping just four and go ahead and work two single crochet in the next two. Okay, come back and work front post double crochet into the two on top. single crochet two. Okay, now you can see the cable is really taking shape. So we're going to turn once again, single crochet evenly across. Okay, row 16 is also a repeat of row 6, so chain one, single crochet two, Front post double crochet, the next two. Single crochet two. Front post double crochet four. Single crochet two. Front post double crochet two. And single crochet in the last two stitches. And that is the end of the stitch pattern. You can see the cable here and how it's taking shape. Okay, so you'll re repeat rows three to 16. So you would come back, do single crochet for row three and just keep repeating three through 16. Hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial. Please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.